So this is one of the ways you are going to take back your power from all places, portals, entities, spaces, dimensions. This is how you are going to remove dark magic, hexes, um, witchcraft, all sorts of things that had been done against you and your lineage. This is how you are going to bring back blessings into your life. Depends. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, this is how you are going to make your soul spirit feel better okay usually i work with all elements water fire and air you know so right now where i stay i am staying by the lake side and uh, of course that means i am surrounded with water already and outside me there is a lot of nature that is earth and then right here i have fire so with the nature there is air so i have all 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 elements with me but i do recommend this to be done outside i just didn't want to go outside today yeah, yeah yeah for this particular video so let me get into it first of all i made this incense uh for by myself there is incense i made that is crushed to flour i made it out of an african olive or is it the african elemi tree or canarium tree it has like so many names and also i have tree trunks from the cock oak tree that we are going to be using particularly for this video and just briefly teaching you how to <laughs> connect with your ancestors connect with your spirit guides connect with whoever the higher, whatever higher power that you believe in like i told you it's more about um using the four elements to connect with self and source because we all give it names but it is all one okay my lover so let's get into it hope you are fine <laughs> hope you are doing well thank you for watching my videos okay i love you and hope this is gonna help so this right here is the essence that i made out of uh, the african elemi or the canarium tree or the african olive or is it the bush tree something like that okay so we are gonna get this and put it right here a little bit i had already put some and as you're doing this um there is already fire like you see there is smoke coming out and um this right here is called a kota misamba in my language in case you are someone who cannot go out to access firewood you know if you cannot like access firewood to make fires for your ancestors or your spirit guides this is what i recommend like candles are not bad but i feel like you know something is missing out on the candles i usually recommend burning candles if you are really feeling that energy of a ghost around you or that weird energy but this one particularly is for all all of it 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 got in quotations um, to feel connected with it okay so we have put our incense and as you do that um or after doing that you can say out your name my lover and if you know your parents name i recommend you say out your parents name all the names and if you are someone like me who comes from buganda you can say out your totem both sides okay both your parents and then your grandmother's totems and yeah your grandmother and your grandfather and then you call upon your people all 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 the spirits of your ancestors and whatever higher power that you trust in or you believe in and then you say out what you feel like i usually tell people that your relationship with god is between you and you no one should tell you what to say but i am giving you a clue on what to do when you are using these products because of course i am not only showing you but i'm also marketing my products which i have been delivering to usually my clients in europe who have been um booking private sessions with me um recently and also people around uganda so um you should say what you really want to say but i recommend you say your name out you know it's very important because there is a reason as to why you have a name and there's a reason as to why your parents have a name whatever whatever so you pray and ask to bring back your power but like i said i recommend you say out what you feel 
I'm going to show you from my cards what you are going to say so that I make the process easier for you. So um, on the other side, like I said, we have the tree trunks that are also from the oak tree, cock oak tree. Uh, this is one of the trees that are usually like stay long for so many ages. And after 25 years, it, uh, it, what is it called? It goes through a transformation where it peels off, but it never dies out. Okay. So um, this is our oak tree. So usually, um, if you are someone who wants to bring back freedom, stability, strength, courage, all sorts of things in your life, balance, I recommend you connect with the oak tree so much and you burn it. Um, because you cannot access firewood, you can just use these tree trumps and then put it right here on the fire. Like be sp uh, specifically, let it be the cork oak tree. Put it right there and... Uh, let it burn as well with this incense you can either use this or this it doesn't matter the whole point is uh you connecting with us everything around us <laughs> this is not witchcraft or something this is you connecting with us to bring back your power and everything and connecting with your ancestors the first step was to say out your names and everything that is you calling your ancestors and your spirit guides and everything to stay with you during this process to connect with you to guide you onto the steps and then i decided to write on the cards um show you right here all forms of witchcraft dark magic hexes done against me and my lineage is now released from my energy in spirit and in flesh I am now flowing freely. My aura is shining. I am uniquely blessed and everything is working out in my favor and for my highest good. I have taken back all power and energy back to me from people, places, entities, dimensions, spaces, portals, sexual attachments, EDC, whatever you want to say. I am now powerful and positively energetic. So I recommend writing like I... I already say um, writing is one of the ways that uh, you can easily connect with spirit. So we are going to ban these, you know, because I'm also one of those people that doesn't like to talk so much when I'm praying. I like to pray on the inside. So I usually ban and release and baby, it works like there and then it works. It's about setting, setting your intentions. So you write exactly what you want. If you want money, if you want what, the whole point is connecting with earth, air, water, everything, you know. So let's get into it. So we are going to burn these. We're going to put them right here and right here like that. We keep on putting them. Let them burn. Let them burn. Watch them burn. And then after they burn um i recommend you be grateful to the universe send out whew, that energy of gratitude be thankful to the universe for listening to your prayer and be intentional okay be intentional so yes my lover that is it i hope this helped and hope you are gonna try this out so that you can reclaim your power back and of course my products are available for delivery across the world everywhere in uganda everywhere in africa everywhere in east africa and i want to thank you to all my clients in europe for already supporting me like i love you so much and uh also i don't reach out for private readings i i i i i i i i I sit here and you text me so in case you are someone that needs me to do a ritual for you because i just gave you a tip on what you can do a very beautiful ritual for you to cleanse out all those energies witchcraft and everything baby you can always dm me send a message via my email and let's get into it okay i love you so much kisses